lining the blind, basically. It's freaking worse. We're so short stuffed. Okay, here's everything I'm packing with me in my little ghost glass. Way better. My Kindle and a sweet treat. These are three things that I always use. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another week in the life as a new grad nurse. I feel like it's been a while since I filmed one of these because my last couple of videos were days of my life off or budget my paycheck with me videos. So I'm excited to film another week in my life and I haven't shown you guys my new space yet. So I'm excited to take you guys along for another week. If you're new here, I do work three hours away from where I live because I had trouble finding a job in my area. Still trying, still applying like literally every single freaking day because I'm so over the drive and I'm so over packing my stuff and just having to take it back to the space that I'm renting. Yada yada you guys have heard it a million times but i just finished packing my stuff i basically just pick out my scrubs and i would just bring them on hangers so that way they don't get all wrinkly and then i have a couple sweatshirts that i wear to work this yellow one i wear usually with my green scrubs because it has like a yellow tie so it matches and i wear this gray jacket on top of most of my other scrubs because it pretty much matches with everything and then i always take this bag smart bag and this is where i have the rest of my clothes my pjs my clothes for my one day off my clothes for my day of class all that stuff and then I also have this bag smart bag that has all my makeup stuff and then this one has all my electronics so these are the bags that I take I also just finished meal prepping for the week so I'm gonna go downstairs and show you guys everything that I have meal prepped because it's kind of a lot I'm actually staying for a little over a week this time because I have tomorrow's Wednesday and I work Thursday I have class I work Friday Saturday Sunday I have off Monday and then I work Tuesday Wednesday and then I come back next Thursday so I'm gonna be there for quite some time so I did meal prep a lot but I'll show you guys what I made. Okay, here's everything I'm packing with me. I made some overnight oats for breakfast for three of the days and then two of the days I'm gonna have yogurt with granola. Speaking of, gotta remember my granola. That was easy. What'd you get? Marijuana. And then for lunch, one of the days I'm gonna be having this lemon chicken and arugula salad. Don't buy this though because it is recalled right now. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat it anyways. I've, I've eaten it multiple times and I'm still alive, so it's fine. And then for other lunches, I made these little like lunchable things with hard boiled eggs, apple, cheese, salami, and crackers. So I have three of those. And then for dinners, I'm gonna be having some ground beef with sweet potatoes. And then I also have various veggies in here. I have some leftover, I can't even open this with one hand. Okay, I don't feel like opening that, but there's leftover Brussels sprouts. And then I also have some chopped cucumber, carrots, and some edamame. Also for another dinner, I'm gonna be having some rice with these frozen meatballs. The way I pack things is just so random with avocado, and then I have an apple <laughs> as a snack. This is a random order of showing things, but for beverages, some coconut water and some poppy. And then I also packed some energy drinks in here. These little Juni drinks. Actually, no, they're not energy drinks. They are, well, they're sparkling tea. So I guess it has a little bit of caffeine. And for dessert, we have some dark chocolate. Anything else? Also have my matcha, just in case. And for snacks, some RX bars. Now I'm gonna try to fit all of that in this little cooler. Look at this, you guys. I had to play a game of Tetris, but I can't believe I fit it all. That's actually amazing. And that's actually iconic. And I'm actually so cool. And I made some matcha in my little ghost glass that my friend Charlotte got me. And it's so cute. And I could cry. Okay, we need to hit the road before I catch traffic, and I probably already will. Look at my eyelashes. So I wanted to share with you guys everything I've been using and what I think is contributing to- Stop! Okay, you guys, let's do a little tour. So this is the entryway. I think this part is so cute. This is the kitchen area. I just brought all my stuff in because I need to unload. But this kitchen is literally massive. And then this is the living room. I love the styling. I think it's so simple, but modern and cute. But honestly, it scares me because it's all light colored. So I literally have not even sat on this couch yet. But I love this olive tree and I literally want it. This is the little dining area. Freaking gorge. I love this place. But I'm gonna unload my stuff real quick. And 
this is my cute little room. The bed is so comfy and cozy. I'm obsessed. I love this big mirror for getting ready in the morning and trying on my scrub outfits in the morning. But right now I'm just gonna put away all my clothes. I left a lot of scrubs here last time because I had one day off. So I just did a bunch of laundry. So I didn't have to pack too many scrubs, but I have like more clothes for like my days off here or my class day and then my day off. discussion post for my BSN class and then probably look for some jobs to apply for. Just another day in my life. You know the vibe. And then I'll probably heat up some dinner because I'm kind of hungry already. And welcome to a public health This is truly the best combo in the entire world. I feel like it doesn't look very good, but trust me, sweet potato, ground beef, Brussels sprouts, and avocado. I also topped it with honey, but I feel like hot honey would be better, but I only had honey. Also having some coconut water on the side for some electrolyte. I also love this one because it's pink. These Brussels sprouts are actually left over from my dinner last night at Piotti, which is a restaurant by where I live in Sacramento. And that place is literally so good. They have the best Brussels sprouts. Mm -mm -mm. And I am a hoe for a good sweet potato like this might be my favorite food holy crap it's hot i'm gonna eat my dinner while watching tell me lies on hulu i love the show obsessed it's so good these bars are literally the best thing ever. Nelly's Organics. I really like the peanut butter one, but I also bought this chunky almond butter that I'm gonna try today. And they're so good and they have good ingredients. It's like a healthier candy bar. Currently reading Remarkably Bright Creatures. I'm literally in bed at 7.30 and just gonna be reading until I fall asleep basically. And also eating my little sweet treat. My Kindle and a sweet treat, literally the best vibes ever. <laughs> guys i am quite disappointed with myself because i forgot my camera charger and this is my problem with living in two places i always forget something last week it was my ring charger this week is my camera charger it's fine we'll make do i'll probably just have to get a bunch of clips from my phone but luckily my camera battery is fully charged right now so beginning of the video will be nice camera quality i feel like you guys can't even tell when i switch to my phone though honestly it's just more work for me when i have to edit so i have to like airdrop all the footage from my phone onto my computer anywho i slept really good last night actually mm, probably because i got in bed at like 7 30 and started reading i read for like 30 minutes and then i applied for some more jobs and then i read for like 30 30 more minutes. I did a good amount of reading yesterday. Actually, my book, I have to finish it in two weeks because I have been borrowing it from Libby, which is like my library app on my Kindle. And sometimes it's a skip the line loan, so I only have it for a short amount of time. So I actually think I only have like 10 days left to read it, and I'm only like 25% through. So I'm gonna need to get pushing on that. I'm gonna try to read all my breaks at work. I always say I'm gonna do that, but it never happened. But today, I'm really gonna try. Just because our breaks are really short. Like, I get 15 minutes in the morning, and then I get 30 minutes for lunch and then we're supposed to also get a 15 minute in the afternoon but that only happens like 30 percent of the time probably so i really only have like 45 minutes of break and i spend about five of those minutes just walking to the cafeteria but i'm hoping tomorrow i will have a lot more time to read because i just have my new grad class and i'll probably sign up for a workout after but usually our new grad classes we get out pretty early like three ish so that gives me a good bit amount of time after work actually my last class ended up going to like five and i was very <laughs> sad about it but luckily oh, oh fuck brief intermission to get some folex luckily they have this oh my goodness that worked so well i need that i need to buy that because the amount of things that i spill absurd but actually since i've been here knock on wood i haven't spilled anything because i've been really careful honestly i feel like at home though i do things so fast that i just like make a mess I'm trying to think if there's any life updates I can give you guys while I'm getting ready. Honestly, not much. We haven't started planning our wedding yet. I've kind of started looking at venues on like TikTok and I kind of want to go for like an Italian theme is what I'm thinking. I've seen a lot of really pretty weddings in Italy and I don't know if I want to do it in Italy, but I did see a few venues on TikTok that kind of like give an Italy vibe, but are like in California. So I might try to do one of those. I don't know, but I also kind of want to do a destination wedding, but not somewhere super expensive, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think my vibe would 
would be comment down below what type of wedding you think i would have or like what theme what colors because i think that i want something neutral like for the colors because i don't know i love color but like i get sick of color if that makes sense it's kind of why i always regret buying colorful clothing because like i love it at first like for instance my lululemon scuba hoodie jacket i bought it in this bright pink color and i bought it during spring so obviously i loved it at the time but now i look at it and i'm like I still like it, but I wish it was a more neutral color, like a gray or a brown. Anywho, do you guys care? Probably not. Okay, I'm all ready. I just have to do my hair. I think I'm just gonna put it in a bun, but I'm going to actually film a little updated lash routine video for TikTok. I feel like my lashes have been looking pretty good lately. And I'm not someone that has like naturally long lashes. Like I have to put in the work, okay? But I'll share with you guys on here as well. These are the three things that I always use. My Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, Babe Lash Eyelash Serum, and then the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. looks okay because i literally have my phone flash behind my camera because it's so dark i miss in the morning seeing okay i hate this i miss in the morning seeing the sunrise honestly but i do also love fall so take what you can get I'm gonna eat my overnight oats you guys know the vibes it's always so mentally hard for me to come back to work after having six days off i love having six days off don't get me wrong but at the same time i'd kind of rather have like three or four because i feel like it's not as hard to come back to work after that having to drive three hours back to my house in sacramento i feel like it's not really worth it if i have only three days off because one of the days i'm driving and then one day i have off and then the next day i'm driving so that's my ted talk for this morning but i'm gonna eat my oats and then go into work and i hope you guys have a great day but I want to give you guys a quick update before my camera literally dies because it's flashing right now but today was absolutely nuts okay the day started off okay got off with five patients actually no I started off with six but then I immediately gave one away because one of the other nurses her patient was going up to the floor on like pretty much right away so got rid of my sixth patient luckily because I hate starting with six it was very chaotic and busy but all my patients were honestly not too bad like no one was severely sick um they're all pretty stable I would say the first half of my day honestly went pretty smooth but after the second half i ended up discharging one of my patients and then i sent three of my patients up to the floor so i literally got an entire new team pretty much and the end of the day was just absolute chaos like one of my patients was siwa so he was withdrawing from alcohol so i had to do his like siwa scoring every 30 minutes and give him out of van for that my other patient she was there for domestic violence and it was just a whole crazy situation with her one of my favorite patients ended up discharging him like first which is always so sad because because, like I love to see them get better and go home but then I'm like no please stay like you're honestly the coolest patient ever and yeah it's just hard to get rid of my like really cool patients you know but it was great honestly today wasn't too bad it was just crazy towards the end of the shift which I feel like always happens but I try to get as much done as I can that way I'm not like dumping everything on tonight shift but I do my best shout out to my charge nurse though because she's such a big help and she's literally an amazing person and I look up to her as a nurse and I hope to be where she is one day but she's had like 20 years of ICU experience so obviously that's gonna take me a minute but i do feel like i'm definitely getting better i like my assessment skills and like charting and all that because i'm basically at my six month mark which is honestly insane i feel like i started like literally yesterday but i'm gonna eat my dinner read my kindle and probably just head to bed because i have my class tomorrow which is nice because i get to sleep in an extra hour because it doesn't start until eight so usually i have to be at work at seven okay bye <music> to go to class, fill up my water. Now I'm gonna make my coffee.
I definitely need to go pick up some more busy today because your girl's running low. Packing my lunch, I'm bringing the same thing that I had yesterday for my like work lunch, our boiled eggs, crackers with salami and cheese, and then an apple. And then I'm also gonna have a poppy with that. Also packing an RX bar. For breakfast, I'm doing a little yogurt bowl. I have to do this kind of fast because I am running out of time. I like to mix in some honey or maple syrup to sweeten it up because it's plain Greek yogurt, so it doesn't have a flavor. I was gonna add an apple to this, but honestly, I don't have time. So we'll eat that a different day. Then I'm just gonna do a spoonful of peanut butter. And then the best part, cookie granola. This stuff is fire, okay? I'm gonna do about a serving of that. And that is my breakfast. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my supplements, my maca and ashwagandha. And then I literally need to go. Cause I don't know if there's gonna be traffic. The place that my class is at is actually like 25 minutes from the house. Whereas work is like 10 minutes, so. It's actually cold. Okay, it's been about four hours. We're now on our lunch break from class. I'm tired. <laughs> it's always like so hard for me to sit there and pay attention for the whole amount of time. But honestly, what we've been learning is kind of interesting. We're learning about like diabetes and we also had like a home health speaker come and talk about it. And I feel like it's been fairly interesting. I kind of like was bored with the whole insulin part because I feel like we learned that so many times in nursing school, but I still don't even know like all the different types of insulin and like their peak, whatever. But I don't know, it doesn't interest me that much. I'm more interested in like preventing diabetes on that side of things. Um, but I'm just gonna eat my little Lunchable in my car. We have an hour break, which is nice. So I'm definitely gonna read my Kindle for a while and eat my lunch. <laughs> I keep messing up and doing cardio days at F45. Oh my gosh. It literally says on class pass which days are cardio and which days are strength. And for some reason it's backwards at this one. So now I know for next time, but it was still a really good workout. I'm just dying. My throat always hurts so bad through cardio. I will say though that their music gets me through. They played Drake like half the time and it just gets me motivated and pumped up to do the workout. But there was like a thousand burpees. I just got home from the gym. I'm gonna heat up some, well I took a shower, but now I'm gonna heat up some dinner. I'm just gonna heat up some broccoli and then these frozen meatballs that I brought from my house in Sacramento. These are from ButcherBox and they're like pre-made. So I just heat them up on the stove with a bit of olive oil. Seasoning the broccoli with some onion salt and pepper and I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook for like five minutes And then probably flip the meatballs. My roomie is actually gone for the night. So I have house to myself You know what that means? I'm gonna throw a freaking party. Just kidding. I work tomorrow and I don't know a single soul here besides my coworkers. Honestly, I need to get some work done for my BSN class So I'll probably do that while the food's heating on the stove. What else do I need to do? I need to get some editing done as well. So I'm gonna work on that <laughs> Tell me lies. It has me in a chokehold right now. That show is so freaking good. There's so much drama, so much toxic relationships. It gets me, it really does. A sweet treat before bed is essential. So I'm doing a pumpkin spice cookie that I made a few days ago. These are literally so good. I'll put the recipe down below. guys here is my ootd for work my long sleeve is from 32 degrees it's their like base layer um i think it's called the crew top but i'll leave it linked for you guys this is like my absolute favorite to wear to work it is so soft and comfortable and also like literally ten dollars so love i have it in like every freaking color and then my jogger scrubs are from figs my vest i actually thrifted from goodwill but it's the brand columbia i cannot find this people keep asking me where it's from and i don't think they sell it anymore but 
I got it at Goodwill. So definitely look at your local thrift stores for vests because they have a ton. And then my um, compression socks are from Amazon. And I redid my hair like 17 times. I'm just having one of those days where I feel like it looks like shit. But it's fine. We throw on a claw clip and we move on with our life. Let's go to work. <laughs> Today was exhausting, you guys. Can't lie. Had six patients, basically half my day, and I ended up precepting someone for half the shift, which was why. Like, the blind leading the blind, basically. <laughs> I feel like I'm still brand new. Six months of experience, and I'm already training someone. Yeah, I don't, don't know. But I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'll tell you guys more about my shift today. <laughs> This is the dinner situation. Don't judge me, okay? It's actually a really good combo. Ground beef with sweet potato, avocado, cottage cheese, and pineapple. Don't you dare knock it till you try it, okay? It's actually really good. I saw it on TikTok and my life has been changed ever since I tried it. I'm sitting here on the floor eating dinner. The vibes are vibing. But anyways, I had to change to 0.5 zoom because one was just too close to me right now. <laughs> I can't even comprehend words right now. Today was one of those days that felt like I lived seven days in one. Like it was extremely long. I was busy nonstop all day. I got time to chart at like 6 p.m. Literally. And let me just give you the rundown of my patients. So first things first, literally as soon as I got report, one of my patients was leaving AMA. She had a pick line in. So we convinced her to let us take the pick line out before she left. I didn't take it out, my charge nurse did. So as soon as we took out the pick line, she left AMA. I pretty much immediately got a new patient. This patient was so easy because she was just here for an appendectomy. And when patients are there for like short stay surgery, literally we barely even have to chart anything for them. So it's super chill and I had her for like 20 minutes and then they sent her up to surgery and then I got this other patient in her same same exact bed spot and this patient oh my goodness was he a lot okay he was withdrawing from alcohol so we had to do like what we call our CWA protocol so basically we asked them a bunch of questions and based on how they answer them we give Ativan to prevent seizures he also had alcohol induced pancreatitis so he was in a lot of pain and he went on pain meds like every 30 minutes his pain was not being controlled. I was trying my best to, like, advocate for him and, like, tell the doctor, like, okay, his pain's not going to be in control with these meds, but it's like, okay, I'll give him pain medication, but then he'll go to sleep. But then he's not, like, in a deep sleep, so whenever I walk by, his grandma was actually saying, like, oh, no, he needs pain meds right now. And I'm like, girl, like, he's sleeping. Just let him rest. And then he would, like, hear us talking, and he would wake up and be like, I'm in pain. I need pain meds. So it was just a lot. It was honestly a lot. And I had six patients total. So like he was not my only one, but I don't know. I was just doing my best, honestly. One of my other patients, he had C. diff. So that was fun. Another patient had a UTI. Other patient had colitis. Honestly, most of my patients were chill besides that seawall one. So it wasn't horrible. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Today was one of those days though that like I wasn't really on edge, like irritated. Like I was actually kind of patient. I don't know. Sometimes I'll have these days randomly where I'm like, things don't bother me as much. Like I had six patients, but I wasn't like complaining about it the whole time, which usually I am because six patients does a lot, but maybe I'm getting used to it. No, no, I'm not getting used to it. I think it's just that I wasn't like, I was in a good mood today. It was shift one out of three. So maybe that's why. We'll see how I am by my, <laughs> by my third day, but. I'm never rude to anyone, by the way. Like, I don't take it out on patients. I'm always very nice. But sometimes things will, you know, irritate you. Today was just not one of those days. Like, I was like, okay, whatever. We're going with the flow. We're doing what we can with what we got. Anyways, I'm going to watch some TV and eat my dinner. <laughs> happy saturday here's my otd for shift two out of three my scrubs are from dolan my jacket is from etsy my bag is bag smart my socks are amazon and my clip is also amazon let's just hope we don't have six patients again today i woke up extremely tired <laughs> but let's go back our lunch and breakfast
Today was the freaking worst. Literally, we were so short staffed. We had six patients each again. I'm just tired of this. I'm really am. I was literally on the brink of tears all day. Like, the amount of things that we had to do, like, I just don't understand. And then in our, like, morning meeting, they say, Oh, yeah, we're short PCTs today. Like, nurses, help your PCTs out. Take your own vitals. It's like, how am I supposed to have six patients take all my own vitals, turn my patients, give all their meds, keep them stable and alive, and, like, I just don't. I really don't get it. And I had two patients that were, like, not doing well, honestly. And it was just really hard. I swear, all my patients needed, like, magnesium and potassium replacement. IV. And that's just a lot because it's like every hour that I have to do that. And then one of my patients had a peg tube and this man needed to go lightly through his peg tube, okay? So that means I have to like give it by gravity, pour it in his peg tube. And I had to crush all his meds, of course, give him to the peg tube. That process took a while. He also had like an old trach site, so I had to like do wound care on that. And like bless this man's heart, like he was sweet, but like it just took a lot of time. And so having to do all that and then having these five other patients is just it's just a lot i'm sorry for like literally coming on here and complaining but i just need to because <sighs> none of my friends were working today either so i had like no one to complain to and that's just so freaking hard i just have to like bottle up my emotions the entire 12 hours i'm honestly really surprised i'm not crying right now i thought i was literally gonna get to my car and start crying but i feel like i have like no emotion like i'm just so exhausted I still have one day left though. Well, technically three this week, but one day until I have a day off. And that day off, you bet your ass, I'm gonna be laying in bed and doing nothing and having, just laying in silence because I need absolutely no stimulation. The amount of IVs that were going off today. And it's just like, one of my patients, she was the type that like, you go in her room, you ask her if she needs something and she says no. And then literally like, as you're about to leave the room, oh, actually, can I get this? I'm like, yeah, sure. I like go get whatever she needs. I come back. Oh, actually, can I get this too? Yeah, sure. You need anything else? No. I come back with the thing she needs. And then she's like, oh, can I actually get this? I'm like, ma'am, please, like, please tell me everything you need in one, like, just let me bring you everything all at once. Like, I will bring you whatever you need. Just like, in one trip, please. <laughs> Cause I cannot keep coming back here a million times. Okay, respectfully. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and eat dinner and literally just knock out because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Happy shift, three out of three. For some reason, my ring app told me that I woke up like 10 times last night. I don't know if that's true. If it is, that's a little concerning that I don't remember that. I do remember waking up like once or twice when my roommate came home, I heard her. I should have worn my earplugs because the night before, I'm pretty sure she also came home during the night, but I didn't hear her, hear her at all because I had my earplugs in. But last night, I literally just knocked out reading my Kindle. So I wasn't wearing my like, eye mask thing or my earplugs which i usually do every night i am extremely tired <laughs> i'm already thinking about my bed being in my bed in 12 hours or more but you know what i mean i feel like i haven't talked about my skincare or makeup in this video but for skincare i use the kiehl's moisturizer and avocado eye mask and then also, their Ultra Facial Barrier Cream. All of us from Amazon. And I really like it. For my lips, I use this vanilla lip mask from Trader Joe's. And I'm obsessed with this stuff. I put this on so much. Honestly, I don't think it really works because my lips still constantly feel chapped. But it feels really good. And it was, like, cheap. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. They used to have that. And then I use this Ilia Skin Tint Serum. I'm actually, like, out but I'm just draining it. <laughs> I like it because it goes a long way. Like you don't need very much. I feel like the bottle lasts so long. Also, it looks very natural compared to like regular foundation. It's a little bit lighter coverage and it also has SPF in it. So kill two birds with one stone. I do love how cold it's been in the mornings. Like I walk outside and I'm like, oh my God, it's freezing. Great. I need to start bringing my like thicker jackets here though because I only brought my like gray work jacket and that is definitely not enough for how cold it's been. Especially on my lunch break. I go sit outside every day and recently it has been a little too cold for that. I'm still gonna do it in the winter because I like to get sun like at least once throughout my day and that's like the only way to do it is to sit outside on my lunch break. And then I use the Kosas concealer. 
and the elf halo glow wand this stuff i've had for so long i feel like it's lasting me forever i love how these both blend together though for brows i use the elf brow pencil literally two dollars then i use the ilia beauty blush and the fenty beauty highlight in kilowatt one of my nails broke yesterday at work so sad i hate when my nails break because it's my actual nail it is not acrylic i mean either way it's sad but when it's your natural nail it's just hard to grow it back I'm actually really thankful that I have a job that I don't have to sit at a desk because if I did, I would fall asleep today. <laughs> That's for sure. But since I'm up and moving all day, like, I don't really get tired. If I just ran out of storage, as it would. But I just finished my makeup and put my hair in a little braid thing. Good enough. Here is the fit check of the day. My my top is from 32 Degrees. My pants are from Dolan. And I'm wearing the same vest that I wore the other day from Goodwill. I don't know if this exactly matches. I feel like it does, kind of. But then there's like a little bit of blue in the tie, which you can't really see, but I just put on the gray vest. That way it matched the gray ties. Good enough. I've run out of scrub outfits for the week, but I'll do laundry tomorrow. Hey guys, I just got off shift a three out of three and I'm happy to report that I no longer want to quit being a nurse. Today was way better. All jokes aside, today was like a dream. I don't understand how one day can be so bad and then one day can be so good, but I'm not gonna question it. I literally had four patients the entire shift. I sent one upstairs and I got one new one. That was it. That was it. I basically kept my same patients the whole time and they were like all stable and like nice and nobody was like asking for a million things. It was, it was a freaking dream okay i got to help the other nurse out but even she didn't have like heavy load either like we there was literally two of us in the pod that i was like working in and there was eight patients total like i i don't know our census was just low today which is crazy because yesterday was insane so i don't or i really don't get it people just don't want to come in on sunday or something i mean i'm not complaining today was great so happy to be off for a day today was a good friday so let's go home and make some breakfast for dinner because that's literally all I have to eat.